is information as material if <coughs> omitting it or misstating it could influence decision that users make on the basis of information about specific reporting entity so if you omit an information okay or you make a mistake in that information it should be capable of it should influence the decision of the users of financial statements so he may take a wrong decision because of your mistake that is material so materiality is entity specific that means we cannot say what should be materiality which depends from company to company materiality is not a specific value given to us any amount above this is material no it depends from entity to entity it's a relative context okay so something that is material in one financial statement may not be material in another financial statement do you agree with me something that is material to one financial statement may not be material to another set of financial statements do you yes, agree sir. with what i said yes yeah okay. it further so depend on the nature of the item yes it depends on the nature of the items it depends on it's linking with other items of the financial statements how does it link with other items of the financial statements it's a relative concept <coughs> therefore isb does not specify uniform qualitative characteristic okay it doesn't give a threshold which is uniform or predetermine what could be material in particular circumstances so as an accountant as an auditor we need to decide what is material so if an error is happening within the materiality you if it is not exceeding materiality you will ignore it you can ignore it but if it is you will have to take corrective action immediately for example if a bank balance of a listed company is this stated by 1000 dollars in the so now this is a listed company so this may not be regarded as material misstatement which would significantly distort the relevance and reliability of financial statements do you agree with this statement yes but on the other hand if the bank balance was misstated by 1 lakh then this could be a material misstatement that can distort the information included in financial statement so it's a relative concept now there's a concept called as materiality and aggregation do you know what it is materiality and aggregation is its material when taken cumulatively uh no it's like that if suppose you have admin expenses what to classify into it so sometimes i choose to put a salary expense into this i can choose to put a rent expense into it i can put a depreciation of my uh, asset in the non production areas into this because i am looking at materiality and aggregation so i am going to aggregate all the items of admin expenses and decide my material okay but if suppose salary by itself is a very high amount then i may have to separate it and not put it in admin expenses so each material class of similar items should be presented separately in financial statement so we put all the revenue in one one piece immaterial items should be aggregated with amounts of a similar nature and need not be disclosed separately like admin expenses can include depreciation on non production assets salary paid to management staff and so on so one is materiality and your aggregating items that time also we need to look at it overall materiality okay